All right, y'all. War of Will. War of Will had a decent win in the Risen Star. Uh, he he beat Country House in that race. Uh, Tyler Gefalion was riding him. He's riding him again. He came out in Louisiana Derby, though, and I'm telling you, he was flat. I mean, he had nothing for By My Standards and spin off. We ended up coming out 1 2 in that race. So, War Will really has something to prove. Now, he's working out really well. Like a lot of these horses, working out well. I'm sure these trainers are trying to get them up to speed for the Kentucky Derby because they all think they got a chance to win it. So, he's got them up 47 breezing at 4 furlongs, 1 minute breezing at 5. Uh, he's a 15 to 1. I got him rated as a front runner. Now, he's not really a front runner. He ran up front early in his career. He's been kind of backing off of that. It didn't work for him well in the Louisiana Derby. So I think that he's going to come out and run up near the front, if not try to get the lead. He may, he may be the surprise front runner, but I wouldn't be surprised if War of Will gets out there and try to do something uh, to try to control his pace or at least keep up with it. Now, uh, he's out of Warfront who is, um, uh, sired by Danzig so I mean his breeding's okay doesn't seem you know it doesn't show to be you know the typical derby type breeding which is another reason why I think that uh, Gefalion is going to try to get him out there try to get him uh, up near the lead and uh, try to steal this win if he can uh, when what's most likely going to be a sloppy track so that's Warfront 15 to 1, more videos coming, um, don't like this one to win really, uh, he may be able to, to create some kind of havoc, may, he may be able to sneak in the board somewhere, uh, but you know, we'll see what happens out there on Derby Day.